Kung Fu Dad. I'm at, I'm at the park today and I'm going to talk about sticks. Uh, they say that, so here's my stick and it's not the perfect stick. I'm going to talk about using what you have. You need a stick to be a certain length and you need it to be just so and you need it to be perfect. And if you buy a stick like that, they charge you a lot of money for it. Boards or whatever are just metal sticks, essentially. The sword, sword you see online is like a thousand dollars or whatever. You or something, you know, the really special swords, like those Japanese swords that is, are still made in the old way, those can be upwards of thirty thousand dollars. You or something, you know, the really special swords, like those Japanese swords that is, are still made in the old way, those can be upwards of thirty thousand dollars. I don't know, thirty thousand dollars can buy you a lot of other things. So, where and would you practice with that sword? So, it's hard to um, branch, it fell off. It was actually um, like this tall and I cut it in half and I at, at one point I wished that I had you know left it to the perfect like kung fu stick length. Uh, you know some people have it as the chai make one which is at the eyebrow length. Usually the sticks I used were a little bit longer than that but the thing is those sticks are very unwieldy for beginners um, and they're also I cut it down to this size because I was going to use it in the house. I was going to practice doing stick in the house, which even though this is a shorter length, it's, it ended up being stupid because you're still going to nick something and you're still going to like hit the lamp or whatever and then your wife gets really pissed at you for doing that and wondering why you can't be an adult and not <laughs> play with sticks in the house. Um, so I'm still, I'm, I started, so I was just going to settle on this length and I learned to deal with what I had. But actually, I like this length because it can be a long stick and it can also be a short sword. What I'm saying is I can use it as a long stick, right? The staff, right? You can do bang, bang, bang. But I can also, it's unwieldy as a sword, right? But you can still practice with it. I mean, it wouldn't be practical, or maybe I just need to practice more. It doesn't seem practical for fighting. It seems unwieldy to me. You know, but as you practice with it, maybe maybe I will be able to use it with one hand. I don't know. All right? Maybe I need to just get stronger. But the point is, I can bring one thing to the park, and I can run through both of my forms, or all of my forms, you know? It's actually this, the length of a uh, of a rake, normal walking stick. It's a little thick, so maybe if I had a thinner one, which I do, I could. It would be less unwieldy. The reason why I wanted the thicker one is because as you practice or you do these exercises, like holding it out like that, I get a upper body workout too. It mostly works on my forearms. And it's not, this is not that heavy. I have some other heavier ones. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start to bring those out too, because the, I know, why would you even pay for a stick, is what I'm saying, because there's sticks, at least if you're in an area with a lot of trees, there's sticks everywhere, and a gardening tool or whatever, and that's <coughs> likely what you're gonna use, not to say you're ever gonna even fight with this, but say if like, a lot of the kung fu weapons are a hole or something like that and you have to think about these so-called like the real kung fu weapons are really more for performance more for my mo the way they're built they're not really built to stand up to punishment that is and the metal is not as good as a garden hoe and the, or a shovel or something and it ends up that those garden hoes or shovels they cost less than your kung fu uh, thing and they also like, they're more durable. All right, so that being said, if you're just gonna use it for Kung Fu, you don't even need it to be, I mean, for practicing, you don't need it to have a metal spike at the end. You don't, you know what I mean? You're just working out with it. Or maybe I'm gonna put that wax, you know, the, the uh, circle cheeses, they come in wax and we've been playing with the, that wax and like molding little things out of it, but that also, you know, the wax gets everywhere all over the house and like, you know, the adults in the family, i.e. the mother, gets mad at that. Um, 
So a good place to put it, maybe after we're done with uh, making whatever, little animals out of it or whatever, we could put it on the stick and that would smooth it over. So I'm gonna, I just encourage you to get a stick, any stick, and um, stop playing with it. You know, they always say, oh, don't try this at home or whatever. For Kung Fu, no, try this at home, get into a stance, a lot of the most basic moves, or the re the most real moves, are moves that you would come up with yourself. The, o the only idea is that um, you want to keep it close to the body, you want to get down into stance, because otherwise you're kind of unwieldy, but I think what will happen is you will get into a stance, you will naturally get into a stance, right? Once you start to swing this, you will get into a wider stance, because if you don't, you'll kind of fall over. Although, some of, the, some of the moves too, like once you get into performance, they do, you do use a, a, a smaller stance. Because once you get that balance, then you can do that. So I'm, I mean, I think, yes, I guess you could hurt yourself, but um, take it slow in the beginning, do it like Tai Chi, and you won't. I don't know, the sticks are cool. Why not? Why wouldn't you play with them? I happen to know a bunch of forms with the sticks and I, I feel like I have to maintain those forms so that I can pass them on. But if you don't know a bunch of forms, just do it. Use your imagination. Pretend you're fighting bad guys, whatever. Get down in your stance. And I, I say, that's still Kung Fu. You're just like, oh, you're just playing around. That's not real Kung Fu. That's real Kung Fu. As long as you get some basic concepts. Getting down in your stance, the breathing, the power, the focus. And you could just make it up because it's been, it was made up in the first place, right? All right, so maybe we'll bring the kids out here next time and we'll, we'll play with the sticks. All right, bye.